This is one of my Philips LED lights that I have predominantly all over the house since this was built three years ago and I have had zero problems with these lamps. Unfortunately the same cannot be said for these cheap garbage Chinese lamps that I fitted in the corridors and in the cupboards. Now this is one of the said lights. They look quite attractive and when they're working I must admit they do give very good light and I was tempted with these partly because they were relatively cheap and also the fitting only contains LEDs. The um, driver which connects here is a separate item and I thought ah for reliability it's good that the driver is away from the heat of the heat sink because this is actually a 7 watt device and each of the LEDs in here are 1 watt rating and you can buy these in a variety of 3 LEDs, 5, 7 and I think even 10 for basically the same design although the heat sink does get bigger uh, by about half an inch on the higher powered ones and in use um, it runs moderately warm I hesitate to say hot but bearing in mind there's nothing in there but LEDs and so far the drivers have proven to be a hundred percent successful which is more than can be said for the actual diodes themselves now luckily these are quite easy to fix and I'll show you how to diagnose the fault on this by the way is it's completely dead and the way I've just checked it initially was to get another fitting and plug it into the driver and of course it works so as these diodes are all in series one of them has failed and I have to say this is now the third one in three years that has failed now ironically because these are only fitted in the corridors and inside the walk-in wardrobes they have a very light use so I've ha I, I doubt they've seen 50 hours use in, in three years which is not terribly good is it really but it serves me right for buying cheap crap I guess now this style of LED lamp is still available on the internet at really quite low prices but however cheap something is if it packs up after a few hours then it really isn't a good deal is it but I can fix these easily and this is one of the little diodes which I've taken off another project these are one watt um, LEDs and we'll have a look and see which one has failed because it'll only be one of them sometimes you can tell by a little black dot that's appeared in there but you know you're heading for trouble because three or four days before these actually fail you'll notice a slight shimmer or slight flickering and then you know the next time you turn it on it's gonna be dead luckily these are easy to take apart simply by unscrewing this and hopefully it will all come apart and there we are all that's left here is the diffuser for each diode so we put that piece to one side and have a look and see if we can actually see anything before we start now I've had a little look at this and certainly first viewing I can't see any faulty diodes but uh, the next stage is to get the test meter out and probe about now I've got this on continuity which makes the usual noise but because of that it also has a voltage applied to the terminals of the test meter and if I go across the diode there should be enough voltage to actually light the diode slightly to tell which one is as faulty so we don't actually need the test meter in view as you will see the diode light up appropriately so if I go round the diodes 
there that one clearly lights up and incidentally the positive of the test meter goes to the positive of the diode that one's fine that one's fine ah that one is not fine we'll just check the others that one's good that one's good and that one's good so that's the offending diode here so we'll plug the iron in and remove that and pop in a new one now this is the diode I'm going to use it's warm white uh, uh, no it's not it's um, cool white as the other one and it's got wires on it purely because I've used it in another project but we'll just test it and I hope that shows up on camera that it is actually lighting up it won't be very bright obviously because it's only just enough voltage to pass any current at all but that diode is fine so we will use that one now I don't know why these actually fail um, because they are well heat synced as you can see and there is heat sink compound under this um, connection panel here but I don't think there is heat sink compound under the actual diodes but saying that the diodes don't really get that hot because this is seven watts as I said before and when you think there's only one watt output which means there's going to be probably only only a, a 20th of the actual available current that is going to be used to produce heat so the fact that the bottom of the diodes if I show you the bottom uh, focus camera yeah is metal and um, skews the solder all over it because as I say it's one diode I've been messing about with on another project and I haven't managed to break it yet so um, I shall actually put a little bit of heat sink compound on there but saying that all the other ones don't have it um, I think they're just basically crap <laughs> um, and that's the penalty you pay because most of the house has Philips LEDs which have been absolutely faultless I've not had a flicker or any hint of any unreliability, unreliability at all but they did cost three times as much as this and I don't like mending these it's it, it, I've got spare parts um, in this little box here I've got one here which um, I can take apart and and, and release three more diodes from there but the little driver transformers this one is for the three watt version is the one which I've just shown you um, they cost pennies um, but to be fair they're full of junk capacitors and things like that but so far touch wood I've not had one of these fail yet it's always been the LEDs and the drivers for the bigger ones are three times the size of this and they run cool well they run cold to be honest they don't generate any heat at all unlike my soldering iron which I'm just about to use and replace the offending diode now here's the diode I've just removed and to my amazement there is actually heat sink compound on it which has surprised me so the fact that it's got such a good heat sink and heat sink compound on it I can only assume the reason it's failed is because the diode itself is just rubbish so here's the new one well the new old one and we're gonna just dob a little bit of heat sink compound on there slightly over the top but um, anyway we will use that right the new diode is in place and just before I apply power we will just check that I've got the diode around the right way which I have won't be the first time I've put it around the wrong way and wonder why it doesn't work uh, all I've got to do now is just to remove the flux from there incidentally when you do this make sure um, you hold the diode down so it makes good contact with the board before you solder it and um, you shouldn't have a problem right before I assemble it I've just hooked it up to one of the driver um, units 
it's not the actual one from this but um, it will be fine because I'm only going to test to see if it all lights and if it does I'll assemble it so if this does work um, it'll flood the camera somewhat anyway we apply power I've done a really safe job here of connecting power and if it doesn't go bang whoa it's working so I think we can say well done Mike I don't think you need to watch me assemble it because you saw how I deassembled it so to speak so all I'll do now is to say thanks for watching and hope it's been useful if you're unlucky enough to have bought some of these light fittings.